Welcome. You are watching David the Real Matt White. This is I will consider this at least as a as, a, as an episode of the Real Matt Cast. It's been a while since I made an episode. Lewis has been busy, and I can only stream through him because my internet connection is absolutely terrible here in a Turkish village. But I just want to make this video um, today, right now, it's 4.21 a.m. as I'm recording this. So it's the Feast of the Dormition. So happy happy feast to everyone. Fortunately, I, I'm not celebrating this feast in the church, unfortunately, because where I'm at right now, there is no church. The closest church to me is in Greece. I can't even go to Greece um, because it's restricted here. So until I go to Istanbul, if, and it's a big if, if college starts, I'll be going to Istanbul. Um, and I'll probably, not probably, I'll definitely be able to go to church there. But right now I can't celebrate it. This game that you're watching right now, I have become, Leafy is here, if you know him. Um, I'm just 10% serious, but um, I just... A lot of big motivation of me making this video is just so I can have an excuse of showing my speedrun. This is a speedrun of a game called Katana Zero. Uh, it's a really fun game, good story. This is this is the speedrun mode, so there's no story element in the game, just speedrun mode. Uh, there are some parts in the game, and you can kind of think some parts of the game where you can think I'm splicing things because uh, my character's position just changes it's like there's cuts or something i'll give you an example like here right so here it seemed like i just cut that portion but really it's just quick restart you can do quick restarts and it can put you in a better position in the level uh which is why i do it right so to gain a little bit of time basically uh that's why it's it's not because i'm it's not because i'm splicing runs so this is a single run it's under 20 minutes. If I upload this run, I think it will be in... It definitely will be in top 75. Maybe it will be in top 50. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's going to be top 50, actually. But I don't know. So I like playing this game. I like playing it because, you know, it's just something I can easily play. And, and yeah, simple. It's fast. It's quick. It's fun. But... I'm not, this video, we're not here to talk about Katana Zero, we're here to talk about, you know, a big team of the Real Med cast is talking about what I want to talk about. It's just kind of casual, just casual me time. But what I want to talk about this video specifically is that I want to talk about two things mainly. Why I don't check YouTube comments and the recent Taylor Marshall vision that is really funny. Um... I'll start with the Taylor Marshall vision. Now I'll, I'll I'll read that. In fact, uh, I'll actually read it after this level is done because it will cover a huge portion of the screen. I'll put this here. But so actually, I'll, I'll show it right now. So this here, I want I want you to see the. Okay, you don't need to see that. I make a mistake. But this is. The first of all, before I even move on, I want to start by saying if Taylor Marshall comes up and denies this, believe him. Okay, believe him. Because he is supposedly the source of it. If he comes up and says this article is a lie, I never I never said these things, believe him. Okay, so I want to kind of cover myself with that. I'm not trying to make something up. I don't need to make things up to 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 show how ludicrous the Roman Catholic Church is. They do it by themselves. But again, if he denies it, believe in Taylor Marshall. 100% believe in him. Uh, but here's what he supposedly said. So he, after receiving the sacrament of penance, Dr. Marshall said he was involved in an examination of conscience that the following evening when he experienced a vision in which he saw a beautiful blonde-haired woman who lay ill in bed. And this woman had was beautiful. She had her breasts were swollen with milk and she looked poisoned. And Dr. Marshall says, I immediately discerned that she was Holy Mother Church. Uh, it appeared as if she as Mother Church desired to feed her faithful and hungry children with the milk of truth and life but could not do so because it will be harmful to them. But then Taylor Marshall says, oh I misunderstood because I heard a voice of God or an angel that said the milk is still pure 
And he, he, his point is that I realize that the sacramental graces, the dogma, the doctrine, and morality, all of that in the church is pure, said Dr. Marshall. I will say the same thing for the Orthodox Church. There is poison in the church. The church is hurting. There's always been some poison in the church. The milk is pure. The sacraments of grace of Holy Mother Church are pure. Any corruption that enters the church does not affect the milk flow. So he's kind of like trying to make this like... Like this. this he's trying to make this analogy like... Oh, you know, bad stuff is happening in the Catholic Church. But it's completely fine. Which I can... I'm not gonna push on that. That's not really what I want to talk about. But this vision of this beautiful woman with big milkers laying in bed and her breasts are flowing with milk and they're protruding with milk. That is a definitely a very strange vision. I've seen multiple people, and I can't really blame those people, multiple people that said, what the heck is this? What, what like, what's going on over here? Um, but if you if you watch Snake's stream with Jay on 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 Roman Catholic saints and their weird weird prelastic vision, this is nothing really new. I'll put the video in the description below. I'll put it there. Um, it's really nothing new, but I really I mean, I didn't expect this. It was quite shocking. But I'm not gonna dwell too much. I just want to show you th this. If you if you if you think this isn't really that big of a deal, then no no biggie no biggie. I just I just think it's really strange, but there is. Mo I'm the kind of guy. Here's the thing. I'm the kind of guy like that thinks. You know, you can have all the weird stuff you want. If you're true, like if your worldview is true, I can look. I can look the other way. I can really easily do that. If if I believe the Roman Catholic Church was the true church, I could look at that and I said, okay, whatever. I mean, is it true? It's true. So I'm not, end of the discussion. That's what I will. That's what my mindset will be basically. And I can't blame people with that kind of a mindset. So, having said that, I want to move on to the next thing I want to talk about. And this is about why I don't check YouTube comments. And this is more so about how I kind of feel about myself and my quote-unquote brand. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, I guess. I make videos. People know me. People, Some people love me. Some people hate me. People, some people have strong opinions about me. Some people just think I'm a cool dude who makes cool videos. All of these views are completely fine. I don't have any problem with that. But I just kind of want to give you a perspective of how I see these things. Maybe I'm off the mark. Maybe, maybe I'm not. I'm, I just want to. I don't want to say whether what I'm doing is right or not. It's just you know how I view these things. How I view this kind of stuff. It's been a year after all. So I started making videos. So, why I don't check YouTube comments? Okay. In my experience, there are only three kinds of people that make comments. Number one kind of people that make comments are the, are the guys who make positive comments. To so those, thank you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for uh, being being thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for really thank you genuinely thank you. But I I want to make a small note about them again all low to them i don't have any problem with it. the issue is how i think and what i want to say is that even that i think should be a good enough reason for me not to check youtube comments and the number one reason why is that i think it can invite the sin of pride and i especially am very easily susceptible to that kind of stuff i'm very if if a lot of people praise me it gets to my head I don't know if it gets to my head today, but as a kid, <clears throat> I had I occasionally had people praising me for stuff that I did, and I let it get to my head very easily. So I know I'm susceptible of that, but in in my just my 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 life, and I just want to not have that. So again, at times it's an encouragement and it helps me, right? If I'm feeling down, it encourages me to you know, okay, people really appreciate me doing this stuff. Um, but again, it can it can lead me to pride. I don't want that. So number one, I love these people. Love you guys. Keep watching this video. Appreciate you all. Number two kind of people are the people that kind of just ask questions. Sometimes they, or the people that give genuine criticism. And I mean, when I mean genuine criticism, it's not like negative, but just kind of like basically saying, you know, I agree with this, or I agree, or like they add on to the video. Sometimes they say, oh, you know, you said this. 
I thought it was like this. I remember one of the things I said in the stream was um was that the New Testament is based on the old, and someone in the comments said it's the other way around. And um, you know that's that kind of comment goes to the second category. People that ask questions, people that do that. So I don't have any problem with people that give criticism that add on things. No problem with you if you are right. Um, if you're wrong and respectful, whatever. If you're right, cool. Um, but if you're asking questions, what I've noticed is that 90% of the time, most of the time, people that ask questions, those questions are already answered in the video. And so, and I don't really want to answer questions and like spend a lot of time just spending like a lot of time giving like writing tons of paragraphs, answering one guy's queries. It doesn't sit right with me, I don't think. I'm the kind of I'm the best kind of guy to do that, so I just don't really bother with that. I do occasionally answer people's questions, but most of the time I'm like, whatever. Um, the third kind of people I'll I'll name them as haters, haters, haters. Um, I'll distinguish haters with people that simply don't like me, um, because again. It's a free country, in it. You cannot like me, and you cannot like me. I mean, I'm kind of joking, but in a sense, it's kind of how I think. I mean, if you if you think the way I explain things or just my personality doesn't jive with you, feel free to be like that. I I completely understand those people because I myself am like that. I mean, I can't really blame people for something I do. I I sometimes just don't like people because of the way they speak or the way they act. Um, Again, completely understandable. I don't have a problem with those people. And don't, they don't really tend to comment anyway. It's just a group of people that exist. What, I'm, what, I'm, what I want to comment on is the people that go on comments and be very, very polemical and very aggressive. There's a lot of those kinds of people when you're in Christian apologetical circles. I've noticed that. And um, if I was to give some examples, um, the best examples... Just look at the comment section of my Surfing Maldia video. Just just take a gander at the comments. Some of the na nastiest, ugliest people I've seen are those who have commented on my uh, Father Surfing Maldia video. Some of the nastiest, disgusting people are in the comment sections in that video. Just go take a look and I'm very certain you'll agree with me because they don't, they're, they're not genuine criticisms I, I and I'll, I'll, I'll use an example I'll, I'll use a light example this is not really a disgusting but some I've seen people say oh are you a bishop are you a bishop are you a priest so you don't judge don't don't how dare you speak of someone as holy as seraphim Aldea and 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 say these things how dare you right I've seen comments like that those are like, I will categorize as stupid comments, like stupid, things that stupid people say. And if you know me from Twitter, I have a very, very low tolerance of stupidity. And I'm, I get very angry at stupidity. It, it just doesn't jive well with me overall. But, you know, I've stuff that I've explained in the video. One, one grand example, this is a very extreme example, and this is not really like a ugly thing but this definitely is something that creeps you out is that this example is from youtube uh my my video on me a physicist and Physics. i removed the comment i hit the user but this user is someone i debated so this is the person i debated in the oriental orthodox eastern orthodox christology debate i debated this guy on youtube i think five more than five thousand people watched it if we combine the views of uh, Craig truly a stream and my my recording of that stream and this guy uh, I made a video on me and physics and dear physics it wasn't really polemical it was just me kind of explaining how we view those two terms kind of responding some of the criticisms and this guy I, I, I sleep after making that video I wake up the next day I see 150 comments in the video and hundreds of those comments are from this one guy. I'm not kidding you. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. You could look at the comment section of that video. And his this guy, he is the only one that commented. 
And like, you look at his arguments, you think this guy really destroyed me. You think this guy annihilated me, humiliated me. No, he just like finds like quotes that supposedly refute me, even though I explained it in the video. Um, he makes non-arguments, like just replies for the sake of replying, like genuinely. And again, you look at those kind of comments and you say to yourself, wow, you know, this guy is insane. I mean, that's that's instantly what I think of. Like, when I look at someone that gives a huge amount of, like, common spam, I, my first instinct is, this guy is just insane. He's crazy. I mean, why will he do that? And it just, like... And, like, those kind of comments are quite regular. <laughs> like, people that get really mad, really butt-blasted people... I don't, I don't think he was butt blasted, but I think definitely something was going on with him. But really butt blasted people will like say all kinds of terrible stuff at you. And I have, I you know, I'm a normal guy. I wake up, I spend, here's how I spend my days. I spend my days by waking up, I play video games, I read church fathers, I read the Bible, I hang out in voice chat with my friends and I play video games with them or sometimes I play video games and hang out in voice chat. That's really what I do, you know, and I enjoy every single second of it and I will not want to trade my time spent just looking at negative comments. That's why I don't name search. I don't like look up videos of people talking about me whether on YouTube, Discord or Twitter. If they want to say nice things, let them say it. If they want to say bad things, let them say it. It's completely fine. Um, if they say false things about me, that's where I draw the line. Because, I mean, what this happened in Twitter, I did unblock the person, but this happened in Twitter. Someone claimed that I claimed that I worked for Patriarch Bartholomew in EP. I never claimed that once in my life. What I did claim is that I have my priest's blessing to do, for me to do my YouTube videos. And I asked my priest and I told him, look, I have a YouTube channel, make videos on these topics. If you tell me that I shouldn't, then I'll listen to you and I'll stop making videos. If you if you give me your blessing, I will keep on making videos. And he said, I allow you to make your videos. Gave me the blessing. That's done. That's that's all I said. I didn't, I didn't say anything less. I didn't say anything more. Never claim I've worked for the EP. And this guy said that I claimed that I worked for the EP, even though I never said such a thing. So you get some, t you get goofy things like that at times. Again, if I was to bring another example of like very goofy hate comments, uh, this is a classic one. I had this in the monotelite, the video I made on Saint Maximus Christology and monotelitism. Um, like some Protestant guy just basically like. Like basically Bible verse spamming and says if you're a Trinitarian, you're a heretic, you're a you're a sinful reprobate heretic and whatnot. Like you know, fuck off. Who cares what you say? Um, but yeah, so that kind of I think I hope it gives you some kind of perspective on how I see these things. Again, at the end of the day, I'm a normal guy. I'm 22 years old. I have a lot of free time and some of that free time I spend making YouTube videos and I spend researching on topics to make YouTube videos about. That's really who I am. And I know that I, I don't really want to call myself an e celeb. I don't think it's a good term anyway, but a lot of people who are quote unquote e celebs, um, you know, it's kind of like a dangerous thing. You don't really want to put yourself in a situation where you want to see yourself as some kind of a big teacher or leader. And I know how that kind of stuff goes. I've, I've e celeb I've been a, I've been a fanboy for multiple people. So I'm, I've been on the both sides of this thing. And um, really, I don't want, I don't, want, I, I mean, I appreciate a fan base of people that, I mean, I hang out with people. I don't think of myself as, as better than people who watch my stuff. Nor do I think of myself as lesser, I just think of myself, you know, I'm a person, you're a person, you know, that's really it. And if you like, if you like what I do, you like what I do. And that's, that's, that's it. But, yeah, I mean, I try, and I hope that my, that people that follow me never end up making the mistake of being like, e -celeb fans that like, I don't know, just be weird. I, I, don't, I don't know how to describe it. I hope... 
I hope I never had that kind of a fan base ever. And I'll try not to encourage um, attitudes that can lead to that kind of understanding if you if you catch my drift. But anyways, that's all I that's all I want to say for this video. Um, again, it's just me rambling, rambling, rambling on. But whatever, it's sometimes I need to make these videos. And um, yeah, as you can see, uh, this is 19 minutes, quite good for a speed run. Thank you for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I believe tomorrow, if nothing goes wrong, tomorrow we're going to have a stream on the papacy with UB Petrus. And, yep. And we're going to definitely tune in. And maybe it'll be a stream, maybe it'll be a recording. We'll see. But that's in the, that's in the works. Thank you all for watching this again. I'll see you guys next video. God be with you all. And happy feast of the door mission.